guys, it's Brianna and today I am going to be doing an IKEA Detolf hamster cage tour. So in this cage I house my two hybrid hamsters, Soy and Sering, and their names mean mango and durian respectively. And they live in the IKEA Detolf you see right here. The IKEA Detolf measures 16 and 3 quarter inches by 64 and an eighth inch, giving them a grand total of about 1,074 square inches. So first off, you can see on the right side, they have their Carefresh colors, and I used an entire 50 liter bag. And then on the left side here, they have their KT Clean and Cozy. Okay, so starting in the back corner of the cage here, right in the middle, you can see they have a green igloo hide. Then to the right of it, they have a small wooden hide that I bought from Amazon. Sorry, I don't know the exact name of it, but it is one of my favorite hamster houses that I have for them. To the left of all of this, they have a couple of willow toys here. These are just some leftover pieces from a willow tunnel that they destroyed here is a heart willow that I got from the Binky Bunny Shed a long time ago from one of her contests. To the left is another willow tunnel that they are starting to destroy. You can see they've already started working on it back here. And then in front of them is just a regular toilet paper tube roll. And then the last items I have for them in the KT Clean and Cozy side are this log house from PetSmart, what is left of a snack shack hut, and a colorful tunnel that I have just used as a divider between the Carefresh and the KT Clean and Cozy. I really kind of tried to keep this side of the cage a little bit more open and give them lots of hidey houses because the girls love making tunnels. That's also why I put the remainder of their previous willow tunnel in the middle because they love to make a tunnel underneath in the bedding between the two houses here. Okay, now for the second section of the cage, you can see this is another play area that I have for them. So coming out of their entrance from the KT Cleaning Cozy area into the Carefresh area, they have a cute carrot chew that I bought from PetSmart. Next to that, they have a milk bone that I am putting in their cage just for tonight. Next to these, they have a reptile log that I purchased from Petco, and this is actually one of their favorite toys. I think it's because it's so low to the ground, so they feel more secure going inside of it. In the foreground here, they have a bridge that I also purchased from Petco, another toilet paper tube roll, and a chew that I purchased from PetSmart. Okay, now on to the third section of their cage. This is kind of what I've nicknamed their health area. First up, they have two silent spinner wheels right there, purple and red. To the left of them is a toilet paper tube roll, and it's kind of hard to see, but back here behind them are toilet paper tube rolls again, because sometimes at night when they're they're digging around, they'll dig underneath the back of their silent spinner and therefore it'll fall back onto the cage like this. So hopefully my plan is that even if they dig under behind the wheels, the toilet paper tube roll will still be there to prevent the wheel from actually completely falling back onto the back of the cage where this thing can touch it. All right, now in front of their wheels, first off is just the top of their snack shack, and they just like to chew on the hay sometimes, so I just threw it in here. I also have a willow stick, and then over here, you can see I have their water bowl on top of a little platform that I made them. I put their bowl on top of a platform because what they would do before was dig underneath their water bowl, and it would tip over, so putting it on a platform prevents them from spilling all of the water into the bedding. And then to the right of their water bowl, is their food bowl. In their food bowl, they mainly have a mix of Sunburst Higgins seed mix along with Missouri pellets, but I also have a couple of other ingredients which I will be showing in a diet video. And now on to the last part, which is probably my favorite part of the cage is their play area. And you could probably guess that what makes it my favorite part of the cage is this drawing that my friend did for me of Thor. And don't worry, it's taped behind the glass because I would never let the hamsters get anywhere near the picture. But she drew it for me because I am obsessed with all all of the Marvel movies, I love them all. Like Captain America's muscles in the last movie, yeah. Loved that one. Which is also why, really quick, I am going to take a detour. On the outside of their cage here, I have a Captain America bobblehead. And I have one of Legolas as well because who could not love Orlando Bloom's muscles in that one too? Okay, I'm kidding. I actually watch all of the movies for the plot as well, not just for who plays the characters. <laughs> and nobody's gonna believe me after all of that. I think it's time we get back to the cage tour. Okay, so in front of the Thor picture is him smashing into one of their favorite Heidi houses is right there. I always love when the hamsters climb up onto the Heidi house because he's like gonna smash right through them. It's so cute. And then in front of their blue Heidi house is one of those puzzle playground toys that I built for them. 
it's just a simple tunnel is all. And then to the left of this is a reptile coconut house. And then in front of their coconut hidey house is another one of those puzzle tunnels that I made for them. Kind of hard to see, but there is also another willow stick. And then in front of it is another toilet paper tube roll. And last but not least, we have a tunnel that I bought from Amazon. It has openings on all sides. So there's two on top, two here, two underneath, two on this side, one here, and then one in the back. Then I put one of the National Geographic logs over it to kind of make a hidey house here so they can crawl into this tunnel, come out this way, or they can crawl on top of it. So you can probably tell that I tried to put a lot more toys into their cage, this cage cleaning. That's because these girls have a pretty high energy level, plus having more things in their cage makes them more comfortable because there are less open spaces. And honestly, I have seen them playing around in the open much more than before, and it really seems like they're enjoying it a lot more. Oh my gosh, so I went to go wake up Soy because I wanted to say goodbye and she's dead asleep, but she may be waking up now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I woke you up. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Do you want to say goodbye? Do you want to say goodbye? I'm so sorry. Oh, do you want to go back to sleep? Oh. Oh, are you giving me kisses? You're so sweet. Oh, no, she's gonna go. Well, now you're awake. The damage is done. Well, from the hands and Thor, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!